Okay, this is like the third or fourth time I've tried this. Um, and I keep doing a video that shows straight up my nose and that's not the goal, not at all. Behind me are some of the half-tempered buildings here at Wuwa. And uh, you can kinda, oh, there you go, see them. It is, I'm taking you on a little walk. It's like 10, a little after 10 in the morning. And it's uh, Wednesday, the 23rd. I get up at eight. Can I tell you, eight o'clock this morning, it was pitch black. It was like midnight and I'm like, what, what, my clock is wrong? No, it's just we're high enough, I guess, in latitude that I don't want to get hit by a car. There's some construction happening down there, so I'm not going that way. But, um, so I got up. I'm gonna show you my, my houses right up here. I'm gonna try and angle this so you can see. I'm on the wrong side of the street. I'm on Angles where you can see some buildings as I walk. There. There you go. You can walk together. Oh no. Oh no. Look. I can't go that way. Okay. Family friendly. Keeping it family friendly. Okay. Never mind. We're just going to have the non. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Adventures. So. I decided to leave the house around 9 because Ann was just getting up and everything's so quiet over there. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around so you can see some of the stuff so I can chat for a second. So, I was leaving around 9. Nobody. Nobody on the streets. Like, no one's up. Nothing opens till 10. So, I've just been wandering around. I had a panda chocolate. I had um, coffee, of course, delicious. And. I'm headed toward the museum, but uh, as I was wandering, I found out that I had made a big circle and I'm right back to where I started. So I might as well show you, um, whee! I love those buildings, but I might as well show you where I'm staying. And I will try not to shoot this video up my nose the entire time, because I was holding it like that before. <laughs> and I still don't know where to look, so I'm trying to figure out. So my goal for this, um, for this trip, oh, what if I did this way? Oh, oh, look, you can see stuff. Okay, so my goal for this trip is to make more videos, especially so that mom and dad, you can feel like you're here. Welcome to Wuhan. Oh, look at that guy, wait, not that one. Uh, that one. Um, so right here, there's a school, right down the street. Wait, <laughs> where am I? Okay, I'm gonna show you something. So there's something called the, I'm in the middle of the street, but that's all right, no one seems to care. So right behind me, <laughs> right there. That, let me flip this around, is the donjon, the tower of Joan of Arc. So that's where Joan of Arc was in prison. That is the last remaining remnant of that kind of 1200 castle and fortification. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's my apartment. I know where I am. I am not lost. Right next to that is where I'm staying. And it's such an interesting building because the house that I'm in, I'm reading a room, it's from the 1500s, and it's got you know, half-timbered walls on the inside. It's got these big curlicue stair cases, really small, nothing level. And the owner said that the building's from the 1500s. And I'm going to have to spin you around so you can see it. But they cut the building in half to build a street. And so it's half old brick and half new concrete. So if you see, ah, right there, excuse me, I'm in someone's way, but that is where I'm staying, and you can see it's all concrete there, and then brick there, and it's all like curved and cute, not that that matters, but, oh, again, I'm showing up my nose, sorry, sorry, not the goal, oh, you can see it better now, see right, Way, wait for it. Right there. And right there, you see the little 
flowers. This is my room. This is my room. Okay, so let me see. Oh, you can see. I oh, know you're going to be seasick. The little kind of winding street. Kind of hilly. I need to cross the street so you can see. Ah, exactly. Those guys. This kind of medieval half timber look is everywhere. And what I saw on the train, I took the train from Paris. Once you get outside of Paris and you're, we're going toward Normandy, you start seeing more and more of these kind of houses, even just like in farmland. There'll be like farms, and then you'll see uh, adorable children running down the street. Um, yeah, you'll start seeing that kind of half timbered look. And the coolest thing was we were going through and we're following the Seine, the river out, out of Paris, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, again, farmland and little tiny houses like this. And in the background, because it's winter and the trees have lost a lot of their greenery, you could see the hills. And in the hills, you could see these chateaus kind of way up, and they were huge. Um, I was going to try and take a picture, but I was not sitting on the end. I had quite a train adventure. Everywhere. I, yeah, and then I almost missed my train one because I couldn't find the train station in the middle of Paris. I mean, how hard is it to find one of the biggest train stations in the middle of the city? But yeah, I wandered on for a ra an hour around it and didn't find it. I finally got there like 10 minutes before my train took off. Didn't have a ticket. Quickly just bought whatever I could find. Yeah, you know, I'm with the machine going, I, th I think this is what I want. Give me a ticket. I take the ticket. I run to the track and I get on the train and then I realize, oh, there were a lot of trains out there. Is this the train? It was. It was. I didn't have the right ticket though. I didn't. Um, and the guy came and looked at the ticket and he looked at me and he looked at the ticket and he kind of was asking me things in French and I was saying, uh, I'm getting very good at saying, um, <laughs> je suis désolé. Je ne comprends pas, je ne parle, no. Je ne parle pas bien français. Pouvez-vous blondement répéter, s'il vous plaît? And by that time, they're all rolling their eyes. Okay. So, that. I'm not sure what that is. I gotta find a better way to do this. Ooh, that's a pretty house. Okay, so, oh, okay, I like that, yeah, so right behind me, there, that is um, the museum, and that's the first place we're going. This is kind of like the big square, uh, yeah, it's still like 10.30 now, and there's nobody. up the nose. You're going to get lots of video about my nose probably during this trip. It is a really stunningly beautiful town. Um, once you get down, and I'll take more videos down in the heart of it, so if we go down that way, that is near, that's where the cathedral is, and that's where the Grosse Horloge, the big clock, I can't wait to see the big clock, is down there. Um, but it's a shopping mall. It did remind me a lot of uh, York. When I went to York, when I was there, what, 2003, 2004? And New York is beautiful, just like this, medieval town, big cathedral, shopping mall. And so that, it feels the same way down there. Also, this is a college town. So they have, it's, yeah, pizza places, burger places, American beer places. Lots of, last night when I went out for dinner, I know why I'm showing up my nose, my arm's getting tired. I need a selfie stick. Um, I saw a lot of college students, yeah, or at that age, early to mid 20s, out and about on a Tuesday night, like you do. <laughs> so I, I have not seen a lot of people my age, but maybe it's just because I'm not in the right part of town. Anyway, this is the museum. That oh, is, I don't know.
modern art. Okay, I'm going in, give my arm a rest. I still don't know where to look on this camera. Where are you? Are you over there? Are you over there? Anyway, I think you're, I, th I think you're, I think you're there. I'll find out when I watch this later. Um, miss you guys, wish you were here, but I'm gonna do my best to fill you in. All right. Uh, Aviento. Squiffin. Bye, ciao.